Hey guys, it's Shade from Sadie Saves Today. Here is another Hanamuna watercolor paper review. This time I am bringing you one of their 100% cotton papers, mold made, so extra fancy. The Cezanne watercolor papers are 300 DSM, 100% cotton, and mold made, so they're extra fancy. They are acid-free, age-resistant, they have a natural white color, they are both surface and internally sized, and they are available in blocks and sheets. And when you buy it in a sheet, you get two deckled and two trimmed edges. So I know that a lot of people really love this paper, and, and I think that these are a perfectly fine paper to work on. And I would definitely advise them more than the Hanamula line of papers. So starting with the 300 DSM hot press, this is always the one that I am most concerned about because I mostly paint on hot pressed paper. The colors came out really nice and bright. The biggest concern that I had was when I did the wash test, it didn't come out even. Actually, it felt like there was some kind of damage in it. That was really weird and maybe the paper is just fragile, but that seems strange. It did well with masking tape, it did well with masking fluid. Granulation was not too exciting, but that's to be expected. There was no issue with back runs, and lifting was still a little bit too much for the staining pigment for my taste, but a little bit better than I saw it with the Hanamula papers. Softening was easy enough. On the 300 DSM cold press, we had a beautifully even wash. I was pretty surprised at how nicely it took that. It took the masking tape really nicely. It did not take erasing so great. You can tell that there is some damage there. The granulation is okay. Not exciting. Not really nice, but it's fine. As is the mixing, I think that this is totally serviceable paper to work on. The rough, I had actually a lot more fun working on the rough. I feel like the papers also maintained a lot of vibrancy and they moved nicely on the paper. There is a bit of harsh lines that are really easy to get on the paper. I didn't have a problem with back ones, but they did have a harsh line around that test. There was not a lot of mixing going on. Softening was pretty easy and the granulation was also not particularly exciting, but in the wash test we did really well and the glazing was pretty good. There actually was a lot more blurring in the glazing on the cold press than on the rough. So as I did with the Hanamula line, I have some first impressions. Okay guys, so I'm going to talk about the Cezanne line of the Hanamula papers. I'm going to start with the hot press. So this is a 300 GSM hot press. First thing you can see straight away, I don't know if that's damaged or what that is, but that is a really weird, strange blot here. So I think this paper is probably easily damaged because I didn't hand it into it. I didn't handle it especially roughly or anything like that. Okay, so let's go through the test. No back run issues. Obviously, if you put tons of water, which I did trying to force back runs, you get these lines around. The lifting, the PT7 lifts easier than I would expect it to, but it's not as bad as with the Hanamula line. The granulation is not particularly exciting, but that's expected for a hot press paper. The mixing is also normal, what I think for a hot press paper. You're able to get detailed strokes. If I tried harder, I probably could have gotten a hairline thinness. And the softening is actually quite good. 
in terms of erasing, when you erase, you definitely are going to lift up and damage the paper a little bit. But the masking was really nice. It's really crisp. You don't have any issues with damage, so that's really nice. Outside of this weird area, you got a nice flat wash. And the glazing, uh, while it's, it's definitely a bit blurry, but it's not as blurry as the Hanamura line of papers. So with this, I was able not to have to worry that much. I didn't have a problem with the paint completely lifting off of the paper. I was able to charge in some paint, not a ton. I couldn't go crazy, but I was able to do it and not have a problem. And I just kind of was able to have fun with this paper. So as a hot press paper, I actually quite like this a lot. I really like hot press papers and I didn't have to worry too much about making harsh lines or backgrounds or anything like that and the paint moved normally, so that was quite nice. So next, looking at the 300 GSM cold pressed paper. Starting with the backgrounds, no backgrounds. Similar to the hot press in terms of lifting, actually you can lift that thalo green straight back to the white. Granulation is nice. Well, granulation is okay. <laughs> it could be nicer. I really like the way that the colors mingle together in this mixing. It's able to hold strokes fine enough and softening was especially nice on this paper. Once again, you're lifting up the paint when you erase, but it doesn't seem to damage that much. And the masking tape and the masking fluid are very nice and crisp with no damage. A really nice flat wash. And once again, a bit blurry, but not super duper blurry in the glazing. This was nice to work with. It wasn't extremely exciting. It wasn't like making me really want to paint more on it, but at least it wasn't fighting against me. So that was really good. I was able to get the colors on. Obviously I have some hard edges here, but that's not particularly the paper's fault. And overall, I think that it performed fine. And the last, the rough, this is 300 GSM also. Also, I just wanna point out these papers don't buckle a ton. Um, after you put water on them, they stay pretty flat. So no back runs, same lifting, pretty lifting, but I didn't have a problem in the painting. So that's really what's important. The granulation is okay. It kind of just looks very even, which is unusual for Lunar Black. The mixing was kind of disappointing. It's not very much going on here, actually. Uh, not really super detailed thrust strokes, but you can get medium thickness lines. And also, once again, quite nice softening. You definitely pick up a lot of pigment when you're erasing on here but it's not damaged and there's no damage here. Very nice wash. And of the three, this had almost no boring. This was surprisingly nice. And this was also my favorite of the three to paint on. I feel like the colors came out a lot more vivid. I put on some charges and I had no problem. I was able to go back into when when just put a little bit of red and had no problem. If I wanted to soften something afterwards, I perfectly can. This was really, really nice to paint on. Of the three of them, this is definitely my favorite. And if we want to compare vibrancy of the three, I think I would say that it's between the rough and the hot press, and maybe the rough is actually much more vibrant than the hot press. And the rough was definitely a better experience. In this line, I would definitely recommend this more than the Hanamula line of the Hanamula papers. And I would recommend the rough paper for sure. And I'd have to try the hot press paper more. The lifting is a bit worrying. The blurring is a bit worrying. The harder lines are a bit worrying. This damage is a bit worrying. So I don't know if I would say I'd use this 
as my new go-to hot press paper, but it's definitely not a bad hot press paper. It's a good, it's an okay hot press paper. I wouldn't say that it's bad. And uh, the cold pressed is more or less unremarkable. But overall, I think that this is a really usable paper. I especially enjoy the rough and the hot pressed and the rough gives a really nice even wash with good glazing abilities. Scans of these tests will be available immediately to my Patreons and they will be eventually on my blog when I post that. When I do that, it will be linked in the description below. Have you used these papers? I know a lot of people use them. Let me know what you think about them. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.